All right, so this is your help, personal help, straight from me. For your questions that you asked about, number, what, number, not, number 11 and 12. My bad, my bad. 11 and 12. What numbers is this? So, uh, number 11, you got the ALCL3. Uh, this is what they give you in your answer problem, and they tell you, let me make sure they actually tell you. They tell you it is, no, never mind, never mind. They don't tell you anything. They just tell you to predict the skeleton equation. Now, if you look at how this equation is set up, I only have one chemical before that arrow. Um, and so I need to know what type of problem this is, what kind of equation this is going to be. So I think to my different types of reactions here, and the only type of reaction that only has one chemical at the beginning is going to be your decomposition. So see, decomposition has one chemical at the beginning before the arrow. Um, everything else has more than one chemical before the arrow. Um, and so decomposition is the only one that only has a single chemical. And what happens to that chemical? It breaks down into two separate chemicals. That's what decomposition is doing. It's breaking your chemicals down. So if you look at that and compare it with your ALCL3 over here, it's only one chemical. So I know that I'm breaking this down into separate parts. Um, and those separate parts are gonna be my two different elements. One is aluminum. One is chlorine. So this is going to break down into aluminum plus chlorine, Cl. Now the problem here is chlorine is one of my seven elements that cannot be by itself. It's not ever going to be just a single atom. It's got to be Cl2. Um, so any of these elements over here, oxygen, hydrogen, chlorine, bromine, iodine, fluorine, um, they all have to be paired up if they're going to be by themselves. So here you see that aluminum is allowed to be by itself. Chlorine cannot be by itself. Instead of just Cl, it's got to be Cl2. And so this is your equation. Now what you need to do, actually, for this question, you don't even need to balance it. They just want the skeleton equation. Um, and so this is the end. And you just need to pick the answer at the bottom, which tells them what's happening. Um, and so you have decomposition, and they're going to break down into their different elements that are part of that original chemical. So uh, that should help you with number 11. Now let's look at number 12. Number 12 is pretty much the th same thing. They want you to predict the products for the skeleton equation and tell them what kind of equation this is. So we're going to do the same thing, but we got to look at this one a little bit differently. So I have a single chemical here, a single element, plus a double element chemical all before the arrow. So what type of equation is a single element plus a double element chemical before the arrow? If we come back over here, we can see it's a single replacement. Single replacement has a single element chemical, a double element chemical, before the arrow. And what's going to happen here? Two of these chemicals are just going to switch places. Um, so the A is going to switch places with the B, uh, and it's going to be left all by itself where the B was by itself before. That's a single replacement reaction, and that's what we're looking to do here. So what we're hoping to see is two of these chemicals switch places. Now, which ones are going to switch places? You might be able to guess, but we want to make sure. So what I need to do is I need to get charges for these chemicals. I need to know what is the charge for magnesium, what's the charge for silver, what's the charge for chlorine. Now, magnesium is in the second row here. It's in the second row of the periodic table, so it's going to be a plus two charge. Um, remember back to your charges. Everything in the first column is a plus one because they only have one electron. They're going to get rid of that electron and be a plus one charge in the first column. Plus two charge in the second column, the yellow column, because they have two electrons, they're going to get rid of both of them. So magnesium is a plus two. So our magnesium charge is a plus two. Silver, AG, is right here in the pink block. We're not going to be able to know the charge for that just yet.
But I do know the charge for chlorine. Chlorine is in the seventh column all the way over here next to the very end. And so these in the seventh column have seven out of eight electrons. And they're only one electron away from getting all the way up to eight. So when they get that electron, there'll be a negative one charge. So as a reminder on the periodic table, first column plus one, second column plus two. Skip over to your third column past the pink block, and that's a plus three. For the minuses, you go backwards. The seventh column is minus one, the sixth column is minus two, and the fifth column is minus three. So minus one, minus two, minus three, plus one, plus two, plus three over here. Now, so our chlorine in the seventh column is a minus one. Minus one for my charge. So they gave me this formula. So I know that the chlorine as a minus one is attached to only one of the silvers as a minus one. So the silver has to be a plus one. Because if I have one and one, my plus has to equal out with my minus and I have to be even on my charges. So when I flip these around, what can I flip? Well, I can't change the magnesium out for the chlorine. Because if I do that, then the silver and the magnesium are side by side, right, or attach, attached to each other, and they're both positives. Um, so positives and positives aren't going to work. I need this positive magnesium to be attached to the negative chlorine. So when I switch two things out, it's got to be both the positives that are switching places. So the magnesium has to switch places with the silver, and that's what's going to make my new chemical. So I'm going to switch those places, the magnesium and the silver. I have to swap places. And what I get out of the other side is magnesium with the chlorine now plus silver all by itself. So you can see that the Mg and the Ag have just switched places. Now I got a little bit of extra work to do. I need to look at my charges because now my magnesium is a plus two. My chlorine is a minus one. And so these two things aren't going to fit together very well. Um, my charges don't equal out and I need to fix that. So this is not the formula for magnesium chloride. To get this formula right, I need to have two negative ones. And that's going to equal up with that positive two. So the formula for MgCl is MgCl2. And that's when I can adjust my little numbers, when I need my formula to actually equal out in plus and minuses. Now I have this set. These are my formulas. I have Mg plus AgCl goes to MgCl2 plus Ag. Um, I can erase my charges. I don't need my charges anymore. And now all I need to do is balance the equation because um, the equation is not balanced. I have two chlorines on the right and only one chlorine on the left. Uh, and that's the only thing that I, that's not balanced right now. So see if you can go through and add some coefficients in, balance out your chlorines, balance out your silvers, and you should be good to go. Uh, and that will be your complete answer. And then that should also help you answer the bottom part. So if you have any more questions, please send me an email. Uh, let me know and I'll, I'll email you back and make another video. Uh, I hope this helps out and have a nice day.